Zap. You know, some people are getting angry when they see the word smart in wearables without operational system. So today I've got for you a misfit T-Rex, the product without some watchOS, Android Wear or Tizen, but with its own solid firmware and the actual look like a watch, and the word watch in the name of the category on the official website. So I won't call it a fitness tracker, although these guys still cannot order a taxi. What they can do? Welcome to the fellas, my name is Bogdan, and let's take into it. Traditionally, a chunk of information about design. This is literally by far the biggest watch of a mate's fit. Simply put, the thickness of GTS model is 9.4 mm, GTR has 10.75 and T-Rex is 13.5 mm. While wearing those watches, you feel that they can overcome anything, and frankly this is kinda what they offer. Most of its body is made of plastic, but there are exceptions. Screws, pins and buttons are metal here. The screen is covered with Gorilla Glass 3, which in our experience is much more durable than the crap used in modern smartphones. The body is granted with water and dust protection by 5 atmosphere specification mark. Different sources tell different things about its swimming allowance, but MA's fit claims these guys can stay with you even when swimming in open waters. Honestly, I had no chance to test it while swimming, but the water from shower never got inside of its body. T-Rex also passed the test in according to MIL STD 810G standard. It can withstand minus 40 and plus 70 degrees Celsius to 40 hours in a humid environment and 96 hours of a salt spray pump around. In short, the watches will gladly join you on your way through hell and high water. At least as long as you stay alive. This kind of modern dinosaurs looks powerful, so the fans of some tactical stuff in theory should approve it. The strap here, alas, is not standard, so you won't be able to put on some of your old watches bands, but there is a pile of compatible ones on AliExpress, so if a month of waiting is not a problem, just go ahead and order the color and shape you'd like the most. The strap that comes out the box with T-Rex in a camouflage color is made of polyurethane. You need to know that all the other color bands are silicon, and after using the black watch, I can say the material is very comfortable. That is extremely soft, and thanks to that, the watch doesn't choke your wrist if you tighten the strap before physical activity, that is a common problem of almost all wearable accessories. My only complaint is about a nylon buckle that will serve you faithfully for years to come, but every time it touches hard surfaces, it gets an inevitable scar. It's kinda to be reliable and not durable at the same time. On the back there are LEDs, a heart rate sensor, as well as two contacts for charging. The duct station at first glance feels not solid and seems to be flying off all the time. In fact, it really likes to move a lot, but it immediately returns to its place and charging continues. In real conditions, personally I do not see the big problem here, although I must admit that with such a powerful watch, the charging dock should seem more confident. Frankly, you will hardly need to charge this brute too often. With heart rate measurement every 5 minutes and a sleep monitoring, T-Rex was losing 5% of a charge per day without all that stuff about 2 or 3% that in short gave us 3 to 4 weeks of non-stop use. What else would you want to get from a 390mAh battery? Among the sensors and hardware functions it has an accelerometer, a compass, GPS and GLONASS geolocation. The first one is mainly responsible for what time is now gesture, and we have no claims about it. The compass works fine, showing north as good as analog old school gadgets. The location while jogging is fairly accurate too. In general, three thumbs up. One, two, three. More functions ahead, but now about the screen. It is 1.3 inches AMOLED with a resolution of 360 by 360. Pixel density is enough for you not to recall this expression at all. At working distance, everything looks smooth and nice. The readability is decent. Regarding the brightness range, at night the backlighting doesn't eat your eyes, and during the day, even in a bright sun, you can easily see all the information you need. Amaze Fit also threw an auto brightness function inside that works adequately and actually makes your life easier, avoiding constant juggling in settings. 
So what else it can do? In the interface, scrolling to the left will get you to the notification menu. By the way, the messages are nicely displayed, we had no reasons to complain during the use. The vertical menu can be flipped both with swipes and buttons. It consists of a dial, your steps counter, a heart rate monitoring, a control panel and quite obvious software buttons and data. To be honest, I was highly skeptical about the flashlight, but when you need to get into the lock with the key in the dark, it becomes the most helpful thing in the world. Using the select button, you can call out the function that you can define in the quick access menu. In our case, this is a music control. Swiping to the right brings up the biggest menu out of this watch. There are training options, weather forecasts, pretty detailed by the way, and quite an effective alarm clock, a timer, and everything else. In settings, you can change the watch face, set the backlight time out, turn on the always on display mode. By the way, the LUT1 will increase the daily energy consumption by more than 20%. That's why, also considering the what time is now gesture, it's not something really necessary. The smartphone app hasn't changed much in recent years. There is a general summary of activity statistics and of course additional clock settings. You can set notifications and get access to the wider list of watch faces. It will also be useful to change the vibration pattern, for instance, for the alarm clock. The vibramotor in Trex is not the most powerful, however, it is perceptive enough, and at least your hand doesn't twitch every time you get a notification. And when you simply start ignoring the common vibro, setting a new one will be surely handy. The final words are about connection. The watch surely can lose your smartphone, but this happens only at a very long distance between the devices. What's important is that T-Rex connects immediately as soon as you step into its covered zone. Summarizing the stuff, I wanna share that the list of capabilities of Amazfit products suits me the best and it seems that they cover the needs of a fairly wide audience. The built-in fitness functions work nicely, notification showdown is well set. For me this is actually the most important thing. You don't need to charge them every night, the screen is readable on the sunny street. In short, I think that Amaze Fit T-Rex is a bold, brutal-looking, comfortable smartwatch with a set of basic functions that will satisfy most of the people, and the money they ask for that is, frankly, not much. Of course, if you need more, take a look at smartwatches with more juicy OS that will jump on a charging pad every evening. I personally would prefer something like this watch and will definitely recommend it for buying. In the description box below you can find the links to the internet stores where you can do that. And if you like this video then why not to support our channel by subscribing to it, hitting the like button and ringing the bell to stay tuned for more cool content. My thanks for watching and cheers!